I just did it. I think it's working. Oh, fantastic, Tim. Thank you. All okay, right, it's working. Yep. Perfect. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. This is the mayor manager's meeting for Wednesday, February 23rd. In the room is City Clerk Stephanie Carlisle, City Attorney Tamara Niles, City Manager Sean Lewis, Assistant City Manager Tim Dodd, and Mayor Pro Tem Steve Ward. Pass it over to you, Sean. All right, thanks, Mayor. <clears throat> we'll start with the 28th, and um, we've got a few study session items. First is uh, December monthly financial report. Next is um, Jackie Lowe will review with the City Council the January. Or, yeah, the January financial report and then utility staff uh, will present information regarding uh, with you. And this is the one that I had suggested last night that we could pull because I feel like council's quite comfortable with this and just move straight to resolution on the 7th. Thoughts on that? We're fine either way. We have talked about it quite a bit. I know I haven't seen anything. We didn't see anything new in the sewer, the sewer and water board. So I think I would be okay not having a study session because what are we thinking? We're thinking what 15 minutes here with discussion. Let's see. We didn't actually put that, did we? No. Mayor, for time, you got a. I didn't hear any objection last night, yeah. uh, so I'm not sure it needs to come forward until it gets to resolution. Okay. <clears throat> that that is the preference of uh, utility staff as well. Um, and then the 28th, still we've got Black History Month proclamation. Sorry for the delay on that. Um, we will be making this meeting a special meeting so that this can be voted on. Great, thank you. <clears throat> and then um, is that okay, Steve Nathaniel? Yeah. And then on uh, March 7th, we have presentation on revision to Colorado law regarding festival permits and determine whether the city will issue a local festival permit. <clears throat> Next, approval of purchase. Before, before we move on from that, um, the March 7th agenda is really long and February 28th is really short. So we could move that to February 28th if that's um, the preference. It's already completely finished and routed for approval. I support that. Same. Yeah, I'll get that out. Um, if it's on my queue, I'll get it out ASAP. I uh, just wanted to just touch base though then. Uh, so we would not have a study session for the 7th, which is great because we do have a full schedule. However, we will jump immediately into the regular meeting then at 6 p.m. That would be okay with me. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. All right, <clears throat> next we have um, the approval of purchase of seven vehicles from John Elway. We've got purchase of street sweeper from uh, equipment, street sweeper from equipment company of the Rockies. Approval of purchase of four tandem axle snow plows and one service truck. Acquisition of property for purposes of constructing the South Inglewood storm sewer outfall project. Approval of a possession and use agreement for acquisition of property for the South Inglewood storm uh, through our home. And, and those I talked to Maria yesterday, um, those two items may be pushed to a later meeting. Um, I, in fact, I think they will be because I'm, I'm meeting with account opposing counsel on that on Monday. Which two items these? The, uh, yes, the South Inglewood storm sewer okay. project. Perfect. Thank you. And that's for both properties. Uh, yes, I think so, um, but I, I will double check with Maria today. Okay, and then we have a public hearing for a PUD at 3600 South Galapago. Um, Walt Women's History Month proclamation. Um, motion to approve letter of support allowing cities to regulate alcohol, city owned right of way. Board of uh, contract for services to USIC locating services for utility locates. Um, so approval of the motion for a second change order with Global Underground um, to purchase t uh, the amount of twelve thousand uh, to five twenty-four, and then um, still on the seventh, the word of contract to, uh, to tool design for engineering design services employed um, in South Alati intersection improvements. 
approval of IGA with RTD uh, for Inglewood Trolley cost share. And Dola awarded uh, 160,000 for, um, sorry. Sorry, uh, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> you're good. To complete a housing assessment. Uh, PUD for 3601 South Huron. Uh, approval of an easement agreement with U.S. Corps of Engineers for an IGA with Douglas County for the relocation of city ditch away from U.S. 285 and Santa Fe intersection improvements. Uh, Inglewood Municipal Code reference to Colorado statute regarding marijuana -like regulations. And then uh, with the loan agreement from EP, excuse me, uh, with EPA for funding for the sewer fund of 21800 and then another one for the water fund for $38,700,000. Right. Can we talk about consent? Yes. All right. Ah. Just keeps going. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Definitely on the um, vehicle purchases, we usually do those as consent. So the first two. Right, Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem. We do, but I'm concerned that they'll get pulled. Sometimes they do, you're right. Uh, I think last year was maybe a little bit different because we were looking at a different leasing the vehicles. So I know that there was discussion around that, but um, Mayor Pratam, would you be okay with putting those first two on consent? I'm fine with having them on consent, but I think there's a pretty good chance they'll get pulled. And that's actually the first, those three, um, the seven vehicles, the street sweeper and the tandem axle. Is that all right? Yeah, I was looking at that one as well. If we're going to do the first two, I would say put the third one on there as well. Okay. Let's see, we've got um, the next one to is this utility yep. locating and marking services. Is that okay to go on consent? I would, I would say yes. There was not much discussion on this uh within water and sewer board i don't know that we've done use this company before but this is a service that we you know always contract with someone uh, <clears throat> i think you're right i think this is a new new company that we're contracting with i'm fine with having that on consent seems pretty routine to me okay and then the next one with angela goodman yeah, this one is only coming to council because it's um, over that original PO amount. So it's got but that $12,000 additional funding needed has to go to in, in any future change orders will have to come to council. What are we good yeah. on that one? I think this one's going to get pulled, but this just has to do with the work on Old Hampton, right? I think so. sure that, it, yeah, it came up on water and sewer as well. Gotcha. Any thoughts on that one, Mayor Pro Tem or Steve? I think as a cost overrun, it's almost certain to get pulled. Yeah. So, so I would say no on that one. Oh, OK. Or Steve, were you saying go ahead and put it on, but it'll probably get pulled? Uh, I think it'll get pulled. Um, so it doesn't make a lot of sense to me to have it on there. And then engineering services. Do we know the dollar amount? Well, if, if it's coming to you, it's over a hundred thousand. So tough. Any idea on that one, Steve? I would say. I would say no on that one, but. Yeah, I was going to come down the opposite way um, and just try to put it on there, but. I, I'm fine I putting it on 
or I'm just thinking it gets pulled, but I would say yes, but. We put the on-call contract for engineering on there. Um, I mean, almost all, every time. This one is, you know, it's just because it's, um, you know, we're using a different engineer for it, but essentially they're a one project firm for us. Well, let, I say, let's go ahead and put it on consent. Okay. And then the, um, the IGA um, with RTD is routine. I don't believe they're doing any cost increase on that for us. Um, we do that every, yeah. And that's first reading though. We have a study session coming up on the trolley, don't we still? Or did? I don't remember. I think we do. I guess we'll see here coming up, but I think there's still additional discussion around that. And the only reason why I asked that is because every time this trolley contract comes up, I, I bring up the fact that we need to have a larger discussion on the trolley, and it seems like items keep coming up for approval. Yeah, I don't actually see that on the future list, but we can <laughs> slot it in. <laughs> I thought it was something that we had intended to discuss. Um, yeah. I might have slipped through at some point, or we decided not to. Well, we're fine doing that for sure. Yeah, I'm so, okay with consent on this. Okay. And then the Dola grant, this is the one you've already approved, um, you know, us applying for, for the housing portion of Code Next. So yes or no on that one? Yes. Okay. I say yes as well. Okay, and the PUD can't. Um, the easement agreement with the US Corps, do you all want to hear a presentation on that one? Or put it on? That's well, a big one. I think, I think we are going to need a presentation on that. It hasn't come back to the water sewer board yet, though. I think we meet. I'm not sure when we meet on this. I'll have to take a look. Yeah, I'm surprised it hasn't already. Although Water Sewer Board has no say in the easement per se, but I think they have been um, updated on the fact that CDOT wants to needs to relocate that for the work in Douglas County, but I don't know. We have, and I think the last update from Peter was that we were going to keep it pretty similar to what we have today. Gotcha. So that may be the reason why it's coming back to us and not water and sewer, because not much may be changing. Okay. And then marijuana, do you, are, yeah, That's marijuana. Yes. Yeah. So oh. did we, I'm sorry, did we decide yes on this one or? I'm a no on that one. Okay, perfect, thank you. <clears throat> marijuana, I'm sorry, now we're down to with the uh, probably since or well, y'all tell me. I'm sorry. Was the previous question marijuana? Because uh, that, that, that yeah. one's already marked. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so the with the loan agreements. I guess since we didn't do a study session on it, I mean, staff certainly doesn't mind presenting it. It's just big dollar amounts. I, I don't like putting those on consent when we're talking about <clears throat> okay. close to 60. All right, well, we did knock out quite a few of those with yeses. Oh, it's going to be great. Let's see if they stick. All right, 21st of March, we have, um, or was there one run above that? No. Oh yeah, 14th. Interesting. We do not have a study session for this as well. Oh, sorry, I think there's one right above this March 14th. Or did my no. Oh, for the 14th. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so review of draft recommendations and early action plan of the Santa Fe PEL. Is this one time sensitive? Because if we don't, we keep this one. Well, the likelihood of it staying clear, except for that item, is probably one to none. But um. 
Mayor Pro Tem, maybe this is where, let's see, March 15th or 14th, we, we would probably have time to get something together if you wanted to slot in um, the trolley discussion here. I'd just like to have a little bit of, you know, direction on what you're looking for. I'm not yeah. recalling the discussion. Uh, let me think about it. Um, in the grand scheme of things that staff could be spending their time on, I'm not sure that uh, that fits. So let me let me think about that for a minute. All right. Uh, Actually, I'm going to ask just because we're looking to slot in items. Uh, the police discussion that we agreed upon last night, are we looking at the 14th or the 28th? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's put that on there. I'm not sure how quickly the chief can get it ready, but. Well, typically when Sam says his staff is working on something, they're almost finished. But um, I'm sure by the time that this gets ready to route through our system, it'll be well prepared. So Stephanie, you've got that one. Yeah, I do. Um, do you want to assign a discussion time for, uh, where were we at? I'm um, sorry, um, for this one, for the US 85. Um, we can probably do all the future discussion times with the next mayor manager, if that's all okay. right. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Um, and then the 21st, we have staff and OV consulting, and we'll provide city council with information on the uh, walk and wheel. This is your, I think, first official update on that plan update. Approval of updates to the city of Inglewood strategic plan. This is the one that we um, moved back a week, and it's the big, like the, you know, really up adopting right until uh, the totally revised version i think it is all right um march 21st we have paint and wrap and the place the place uh, yes. okay um paint and wrap the play structure at pirates cove and then first reading on planned unit development 3600 south galapago um jackie lowe will review the city council financial report for february um or on March 28th. Yeah, sorry. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So any questions on the 21st? 28th is the, the first item is that one for February financial report. And then um, I'm trying to remember what, oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm, your pro tip, I'm sorry that we're, I don't know why we put names on this one. Um, but uh, the staff will provide an up overview of the current reserve policy of 16.7 of revenue and revisit the ratcheting sliding policy of the PAC. Yeah, I think that one might got might have gotten a little confused because the one that I sponsored for Anderson was the DEA uh, tax increment financing discussion, the tax sharing agreements. This one is uh, is purely from the desk of Steve Ward. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just pull names put... out of it. <laughs> right, right, right. Sorry about that. And then, Thank you um, for the clarification. <laughs> and then we've got a resolution. Um, oh, we're moving on to April 4th. So any questions on March 28th? No, but I just love the idea that now Steve Ward has a policy named after him. <laughs> it probably <laughs> should be. All right. Uh, he April, has hand in that, but go ahead. Uh, April 4th, we have a resolution to approve walk and wheel plan update. And then uh, the waste haulers will be on, I've been saying April 18th. That's what Maria put in my council one-on-one -on -one updates. So I suspect that this is moved back from April 4th. So maybe Stephanie, if you can check on yeah. that. I can definitely, you said uh, possibly April 14th. Uh, 18th is what I was told. Yeah, okay, great, thank you. And then April 11th, we have preliminary 2023 revenue and expenditure underlying forecast assumptions. Um, then the re consider I think exempting us um, for use taxes on city projects. And this is a placeholder, it looks like. Okay. And then um, April 18th, Council um, review cities of the year nominations and select. Also on the 18th, we'll have the uh, LV Inglewood graduation. On April 25th, um, Revenue Tax Audit Licensing Division of Finance recommends an increase in the estimated assessment penalty fees. Uh, staff will provide an update on Inglewood Trolley seat directions. On, <laughs> oh, there it is. Right, right, April 25th. Is that soon enough? 
We are Brooke Town. Yes, I knew it was there. Check. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, Council Review Financial Report for March. Still on the 25th, review of preliminary 2023 capital projects list with City Council and board commissions and committees. And that's that new joint meeting, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then May 2nd, we have oh, citizen of the year will be recognized. And then May 2nd, approval of the contract with ProPipe for video inspection of pipe interiors. May 9th, update on code next and the work of the steering committee. May 23rd, um, review of financial report. It looks like the rest of these, except for the framework agreement with LNR, which is going to be June 15th. The rest of these are routine. But let's look at July. Is there anything injured on July? Yeah, just the financial report. So we will, um, you know, ask folks to, it'll be that first meeting in July and the last meeting in July, unless y'all think differently. It seems like we had either I don't care or it sounds like worth exploring from council on the break in July. Right. Uh, the first week in July is the 4th of July holiday. I don't know if that matters at all. What day does that fall on? So Monday is uh, the 4th is on a Monday. Oh, OK, yeah. Oh, so <clears throat> it's a holiday week is my only point to that. Yes, thank you. Well, would you, yeah, from a perspective of trying to keep things off of um, an agenda, the earlier we can know that, um, the easier it is for staff to adapt and adjust. So maybe Mayor may approach him if you want to put some thoughts into, you know, if you want to take two weeks, three weeks, and then if so, which which weeks do you want to have the meeting? We can talk about that later if you want. Yeah, I'm just wondering now with the fourth following on a Monday. Does it make sense for us to have the meeting on it on Tuesday? The regular scheduled meeting on Tuesday. Um, so sorry, you're just asking for us to think about. <clears throat> timing and all of this as we move closer to the date. Yeah, yeah, maybe in the next couple of meetings we could nail down which weeks, if any, you want to take off um, in July so that we can slot those in and plan around them. Okay. And then in terms of code, excuse me, um, council requests, I know um, Tamara submitted the one that uh, Rita asked about um, lawsuits and things holding back these. Um, we also, I think, I think Rita also mentioned the crime stats in the city center area. I'll have to double check that one, but I think we do have that one, but I'll double check. And then we're also checking, we'll check with Chris and Maria on the timing for the single hauler survey and potentially in the utility bill. And what else? Did staff pick up anything else? We've got the crime study session slotted now. Any other staff or council have other items for council requests? I don't have anything else. Me neither. All right. I we'll think that's it for us then. Okay. Perfect. Anything else? Anyone? Doesn't look like. Uh, sorry, Stephanie. Did you have something? Uh, no. Okay. Um, all right. Perfect. So that now concludes today's mayor manager meeting. Everyone have a great Wednesday. Thanks. Thank Good you. Job you running too. Meeting, Stephanie. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate Jade. <laughs>